osteoporosis and bone loss, special considerations. Osteoporosis is a decrease in bone mass and bone strength. The strength of the bone depends on the mineral density and bone quality. Osteoporotic bone is weak and is at risk of fracture at the hip, wrist, and the spine. These are the common osteoporotic fractures, the wrist, the spine, and the hip. Younger patients sustain wrist fracture first, and the older patients sustain hip fractures. How about the spine fracture? If a fracture of the vertebral spine occurs, the patient will have a five-fold increased risk for having a second vertebral fracture or a hip fracture. A second vertebral fracture means the patient will get more compression fractures in the future. With one hip fracture, there will be a tenfold increase of another hip fracture occurring. Men with hip fractures have a higher mortality rate than women. The lifetime risk of fractures of the hip, spine, and wrist is 40%. The decrease of bone strength and bone mass clearly predicts fracture risk. There is another entity called osteomalacia. What is the difference between osteoporosis and osteomalacia? Osteoporosis is the loss of bone mass. Osteomalacia is the reduction of mineralization of the bone. Osteoporosis affects 45% of women age 50 or older. There is also some correlation between osteoporotic fracture and the risk of death. 20 to 25% of elderly patients could die within one year of suffering a hip fracture. Men and women both begin to start spending or losing bone at a certain point in their lives. Banking or building up of bone during youth has benefits during the later years. Let me give you a brief summary about bone physiology. The bone has two important cells, the osteoclast and the osteoclast. The osteoclast eats the bone. The osteoclast makes bone. It takes about 100 to 150 osteoclasts to replace the bone that's removed by one osteoclast. In osteoporosis, there is mineralization of the bone, but there is an abnormal osteoclast function. You lose the bone, and the bone becomes osteoporotic because of abnormal osteoclast function that eats the bone. There is a quantitative, but not qualitative, problem of the bone with osteoporosis. It's just the quantity is small. Because the osteoclast, the machines, just eating the bone and making the bone softer, the osteoplasts try to make the bone, they're not able to because the wild osteoclasts are just destroying the bone. Most individuals obtain their peak bone mass between the ages of 16 and 25 years. Men begin to lose bone mass after the age of 25 years at the rate of 0.3% per year. Women begin to lose bone at the rate of 0.5 per year. After menopause, there is an accelerated rate of bone loss at the rate of 2 to 3 percent per year of the total bone mass for about 10 years. Osteoporosis affects about 45 percent of women 50 years or older. 
There are two types of osteoporosis. Type 1, postmenopausal, occurs within 15 to 20 years after menopause. It affects the trabecular bone and there is an increased risk of vertebral and wrist fracture. Type 2 senile occurs in women and men over the age of 70 years. It affects cortical and trabecular bone equally. You can see vertebral and hip fractures. More common in females than males with a ratio of 2 to 1. In type 1, there is an estrogen deficiency. In type 2, there is aging and long-term calcium deficiency. With aging, the inner bone diameter increases, while the cortical thickness of the bone decreases. 20 to 25 percent of elderly patients could die within one year of suffering a hip fracture. What are the risk factors for osteoporosis? Thin patient, North European descent, people who live in sedentary lifestyles, smokers and drinkers, or if the patient is taking anti seizure and phenobarbital medications. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.